before my encounter, uh, I got honest to say that I had no direction in life. My life was a uh, was stuck in a uh, in, in the media, just trying to impress people. And uh, as far as the media goes, I would listen to dirty songs, the songs I probably didn't even know uh, the lyrics to, but I just sang them because everybody else was saying them. I was just trying to blend in. But when I went to my encounter, I found out everything I was doing was just, just, just not the right way. At the encounter, I think the biggest thing that impacted my life was that I heard again and again, time and time before, of how Jesus died and all that. And all of that sounded cliche to me, even at a young age. But at the encounter, man, I know there was more than 10, 20 people there, but I felt an intimate, encounter with Jesus Christ when they told me that it was me that nailed Jesus to the cross. And at that moment, I just felt so bad and I felt so, so convicted of how I was living at that time. I didn't have any direction in life, but I know after the encounter and after I recognized that, that Jesus died for me and I was the one that uh, nailed Jesus to the cross, my life changed forever. I mean, I remember after the encounter, as soon as I went into the car, my older sister, Turn the radio on, and it was a, a secular music station, you know, with the rap and hip hop. And for some reason, even at a young age, I was I felt so pure, felt so cleansed. I was like, hey, can you turn that off? Because you know, I just felt so changed at that time. And I know even to this day, I have principles in my life that I'm not even gonna touch sin. That after that encounter, I was just I was just changed. So yeah, it's my encounter.